All right, 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 all right. Back in January, I recorded this very fun video that I did for only four seasons that now has 150,000 views around a pretty serious, you know, topic. Michael Jordan, Kobe Bryant, LeBron James returned back into the NBA in 2020. And it's had a lot of requests now because, like I just said, 150,000 views to have a part two. Now, the only discrepancy there is that I did that career simulation, quote unquote, career simulation of four years on the PS4, and I'm on the PS4. PC now because well um it would take 12 hours to do maybe 20 years doing 20 years of three different players at the same time yeah no i'm not trying to you know what i mean i'm not trying to go open up that save file now i thought about maybe starting from year four and just going on from there i realized that the most logical decision would be to start from the beginning and put them back on the respective teams but i just started up this league i simulated through the draft i was about to put him back on the knicks warriors and the grizzlies and look who these guys got drafted to lebron james number one the chicago bulls in case you don't know that's the team that Michael Jordan was on. And to clue this up now, he's gonna be wearing number six, considering that, you know, 23 years retired. Michael Jordan drafted second to the Detroit Pistons, the team who he had a very heavy rivalry with throughout, like, you know, a good chunk of his career. There's multiple perspectives and different documentaries showing how Jordan had to train to get stronger and stronger just to get through Bill Lambeer. And lastly, Kobe Bryant to the Charlotte Hornets, the team that he was quote unquote drafted by. Well, not even quotes. He was literally drafted by them and then traded to the Lakers. And uh, I had zero interference here, but when I saw this, I said, oh yeah, never mind. We're, we're staying on these teams. So I'm both fulfilling your wishes and giving you more of a storyline for all three of these guys because they had no further correlation with the Knicks, Grizzlies, and Warriors. I took them straight off of the historic draft classes in 2K and well, uh, here we are. If anything is wrong with them, blame 2K because these are exactly how they were on the historic draft classes. You know, I, I literally did nothing. Lastly, Jordan looks old. LeBron looks kind of old because well, um, when I import their younger face scans, which by the way, 2K, I hate you guys for not putting on the young face scans on the rookie players when i put on their younger face scans it screws up everything screws up their age all that stuff so we're going with the face scans that 2k provided cool i think that's it so jordan's playing 32 minutes as you know the starting shooting guard of the pistons is also next to this derrick rose guy so those are two uh well bulls legends i guess they lost christian wood in free agency bronze playing 33 a game for the bulls they're starting reggie jackson and they took kobe white out of the rotation because you know why would you ever cater to your young players and kobe is starting at the two for the hornets which is a lot better than the warriors because we had this guy stuck behind clay thompson i don't know why it says he's wearing number six wait why is he wearing number six i gave him number eight. Oh god they try to take this man's number away and give it to gallinari yeah right but yes thankfully this guy's gonna be getting a lot more minutes and opportunities on this team when he doesn't have clay thompson in front of him so we're on to a new video which will probably be a lot more eventful because we're going to be going for at least you know if we stay at the pace of what kobe did for his, his career 20 years possibly and speaking of that i uploaded this video weeks before kobe's whole tragedy happened so um this was nothing for views or anything like that but on to season number one and if you're returning subscriber you like the videos all the stuff like that you might have already liked the video but you can like the video to support the channel if you've never seen my videos before and you want to see if i make good content before you actually like the video you could do that because i can't control you or for the same reason that i can't control you you could like it right now i don't know michael jordan and lebron james one time all stars no kobe just yet but you know he will have a better opportunity to make it early on oh yeah and if you're wondering some reason you didn't you're not educated in nba why kobe's a 78 overall it's because you know he was drafted 13 so that's just what 2k gave him and he's still averaging very very good numbers Oh yeah, you know, Mike's just averaging a cool 26, 6, and 6. And Brown's averaging 24, 7, 2, 2, and 5. So yeah, those are some all-star players. But out of all three of the teams, the only one with a winning record right now by far is the Hornets. MVP goes to Giannis because, you know, numbers. And the rookie of the year out of our three guys is Michael Jordan. 26 points, 6 rebounds, 6 assists, 2 and a half steals, and 1.2. Oh my god. Yep, he deserved it. By the way, not a good three-point shooter. It's a 58. He only attempted 55. He's basically the martyr rosen in 2021 lebron james wait 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 wait. michael jordan might have won rookie of the year but lebron james and michael jordan made the all nba second team already fyi i uh, kind of you know banished the other lebron from the nba kobe bryant was on the all rookie second team with 18 5 51 percent you know okay okay well anthony edwards was better wiseman was kind of better and okay yeah never mind kobe was wow he was a really good rookie but he wasn't good enough to make the first team and we didn't have one team to make the playoffs but kobe's team was definitely the closest they were 41 and 41 the pistons were 16 and 66 and the bulls were 32 and 50 fyi i mean in case you didn't realize by now they're on the same conference as well on to season number two because um we have nothing to look forward to here shout out to the nets stanley johnson retired and the pistons dropped from one to five how great pistons picked evan mobley with the fifth pick i mean that's good you had thon maker at center and the bulls picked jonathan cunner oh the hornets signed gobert and they have a hell of a lot of 80 overalls now i mean kobe's like the sixth best player overall 
overall wise on the team the Pistons signed Jonathan Isaac that's kind of interesting don't know how they got Jonathan Isaac but um hey that's pretty cool Braun went up by five overalls and uh they they signed Boogie Jordan went up by four Kobe went up by I believe four as well yeah so season number two the all-star teams our favorite time of the year actually yeah it is in this league because you have three chances to make it LeBron James and Michael Jordan are two-time all-stars Kobe well up still not here but you know his team just got even more stacked then again as you can see on the bottom right they're 23 and 26 so uh, it's not really showing out too well hey look they're actually playing Kobe White this season incredibly innovative actually utilizing their young players so basically I'm editing this video at 3 a.m. and I come to the incredible discovery that technology can be annoying the next season or so of the audio was corrupted so um here I am to recap Kobe White won most improved player the Bulls lost in the second round to the Magic after LeBron and Jordan made the All-NBA teams Jordan first LeBron third and then the most important part of all I'm gonna say the Pistons drafted Mikey Williams lastly LeBron and Jordan made the all-star team Kobe didn't still for some reason even though he's pretty good and the Hornets traded for Paul George and Spencer Dinwiddie for whatever reason yep that's it Michael Jordan versus LeBron James and their dominance is a whole story in itself and then like in year number six we're probably gonna see Kobe just come up from under the shadows and become another goat himself we're literally having three generation defining players just all at once and here's another one Luka Doncic 31 10 and 10 Mikey Williams rookie of the year Michael Jordan didn't take that much of a shine the Cavs coach that I always clown because he's not supposed to be the Cavs coach Michael Jordan and LeBron James are both on the all NBA first team Braun averaged very Braun numbers including 43% from three and Jordan averaged very Jordan numbers including 20% from three but he averaged 34 points and seven assists I'm just not gonna announce the all defense teams unless some change all right because they're on the same ones oh yeah there's also this kid named LeBron James jr. and uh, he's gonna be around Detroit is the number one seed from what like 17 wins to number one one seed why is Kenny Atkinson standing like that and yes he's the Pistons coach I guess no my 2k14 my player is the Bulls coach the guy has somehow mentioned every single video you would think that I rigged that and let me tell you that I did okay okay no I, I'm kidding well the Hornets didn't make it after they were the best seed in the first year or the best team out of these guys and well uh the Bulls and the Pistons go to the second round pretty easily LeBron beats down Giannis and Mike beats down baby Braun and it doesn't look like we're getting you know the matchup that we wanted because well um Bulls got eliminated but but Jordan progressed or just advanced. I don't know why I said progressed. The Celtics are basically just the Celtics, except uh, Kemba Walker's gone into the second seed. LeBron got swept by the Celtics, but he was still having stat lines like this. Didn't he used to get beat down by the Celtics all the time in the 2000s? And then he just came back and dominated them one year, and it was just history ever since. Well, conference finals against the Celtics, and uh, that's an easy 4-1. The Detroit Pistons are in the finals against the Mavericks, the first year with Mikey Williams on the team. Jordan is averaging 36 and 10 in the playoffs, and Mike he's averaging 28 and 8 and both of them are shooting 60 percent from the field and i guess clint capella is here somehow we traded bogdan for clint capella that worked well nba finals against the mavericks honestly i don't think i could simcast every game because i feel like we're gonna have a lot of finals appearances in this video so uh i'm just gonna round it you know i don't know why i tried to shorten just simulate round we lose the first we're down 2-1 2-2 okay now we could simcast a little bit we won the next game pretty convincingly jordan just dropped a light 50 points and only missed six shots shots yo we might actually get an iconic jordan moment right here mike you have the ball in your hands to ice the game and michael jordan just acted like chris stops didn't exist oh my god back in his younger days you know he had to wait a little while i believe he waited six years for his first championship michael jordan on luka Doncic. Doncic could tie up the game and they're double teaming Doncic down to denny they have denny on the team too they want a three randall with the ball out to Doncic. Doncic pull up over mike and he misses that is it the detroit Pistons are NBA champions in year number three. We already know who the finals MVP is. Michael Jordan. Now look, Luka did put up 47, 10, and 9, but his time will come. Uh, Michael Jordan instead had to come in the league with less time and uh, put up 42, 5, 5, 5 on 17 for 26 and win a championship. Actually, wait, Luka already won last year. You know, Luka's chilling. He just wanted to repeat. Michael Jordan, 37 points, 8 assists, 5 rebounds in the finals. He didn't have to make any threes in the three-point era. Here's his playoff numbers and here's bronze playoff numbers not to compare but uh yeah that's exactly what i'm doing because you know that's kind of the point of the video lebron james retired usually i should announce you know relevant players but he's a 41 overall so i can yes i kind of had to like you know nullify him out of the league oh wow i just realized i was like an unintentional hey this guy retired and you got caught and you're looking at the screen now moment but no i was talking about the old lebron you know what i couldn't just evaporate him from the league and the hornets have the first pick now we're into like auto generated draft lane but some of these guys end up being pretty good we've seen it in literally every video Harvey McCloud, 81 overall center, A minus potential.
potential? Yeah, um, I think Kobe might have got him a Shaq. A white Shaq. LeBron is a 96. Kobe is an 87. There we go. Oh, yeah, I'll move Paul George back to small forward. I forgot that they moved him to shooting guard. And Jordan's a 93. Going into season number four, which is the last season on their contracts. Ah, uh, yes, there you go, Paul. A nice 86 overall. This team is so scary. I'm calling repeat. LeBron and Jordan are both starters. Kobe's still yet to be an all-star. But, I mean, he's averaging 25 and 6 a game. Maybe he did make it and I missed it. Nope. Mike's winning MVP. He might be second. I don't care. Wait, did you say they, they signed Milos Teodosic? What the hell? This guy was in the league for like 12 seconds. They, they traded Paul George for Andre Drummond. Oh my god, Luke got the MVP. I could have sworn Mike had it under the bag. Under the bag? What does that even mean? Hey, Harvey McLeod, rookie of the year. Michael Jordan, DPOY. He did win a couple of these back in his heyday. Kobe Bryant, most improved player. This is a cool award. I can't read out their stat lines every time. I'm going to spend 56 minutes on this video, which I might still do anyways. Mike's on the first team, Bron's on the second team, and Kobe's not on a team. Well, the Pistons are the first seed, the Hornets are the sixth seed, and the Bulls are the seventh seed. This should be fun. Hold on, let me, let me chill out for a second. I don't know why I click simulate playoffs instead of simulate run round, but here we are. The Pistons have only lost one playoff game so far. The Hornets advanced to the second round and lost the, the, the Bucks. I don't know why I just stuttered on the Bucks. And well, the Bulls lost in the first round. Here's Bron's playoff numbers, and here's Kobe's playoff numbers, which are concluded with, concluded, included 31 points a game. And then there's Michael Jordan. Up against the Bucks in the conference finals and we just 4-0 swept him and now we're playing the lakers who don't have that lebron guy anymore but they have lonzo ball back and anthony davis and sir dominic pointer well up against the lakers and uh we're up 2-1 3-1 all right we lost the next game michael jordan has 45 and 10 and we're about to win our back-to-back -back championship that i believe i called come on mikey i want to get one shot up with your ugly jump shot mikey come on beautiful mm, we did it finals mvp again michael jordan 45 points 10 assists and 8 rebounds. Yup. The Detroit Pistons are repeating champions with Michael Jordan average 44 points a game in the finals. And I'm assuming he made three out of four threes considering he shot 75% because um, he does not shoot a lot of threes. He's looking at Mike's insane playoff stats at almost 40 a game throughout the whole run. George Hill retired and got him a ring. LeBron James a 98 overall and we signed an old John Wall. LeBron also re-signed a four-year $167 million deal. I forgot that these guys are free agents. Kobe re-signed on a five-year $180 $88 million deal and Michael Jordan signed a three-year $122 million deal with a player option. These teams are honestly uh, pretty good. Season number five. Bron and Mike are starters and Kobe finally got his first all-star appearance. Yusuf Nurkic is a five-time all-star? Sure man, why not? Yo, if you're still here and you're not subscribed to the channel, why aren't you? Like not saying that you had to, but like what is the point? Why would you still be here if you wouldn't want to? Luke won another MVP. Ed Aldridge, rookie of the year. Bo Bo, casual sixth man of the year. Michael Jordan, DPOI, so don't know how he's not winning MVPs yet. And Kenny Atkinson, the Pistons coach, coach of the year, you get the deal. Michael Jordan did not make the All-NBA first team, but uh, LeBron did. Here's a look at his stats. And yeah, I guess Jordan's 31 points, 8 assists, 5 rebounds, 2.4 steals weren't enough for the first team. Mikey Williams made the third team, but Kobe has still yet to crack one. Detroit is the first seed, and the other two guys didn't make the playoffs at all. Bulls were 32-50, and 50, and the Hornets were 40-42. and 42. The Hornets have Kawhi? They trade traded PJ Washington and Miles Bridges to the Knicks for Kawhi. And Kawhi averaged 15 points on 41% shooting. How great. Pistons playoff run. First round against Philly and we win 4-2. Second round against the Pacers is a clean sweep. Third round against the Washington Wizards is a clean sweep. And back against the Mavericks, we're up 3-0. Thankfully, I get to say where for three different teams in here, but uh, we might be three-peating. Back to back to back. Michael Jordan came back in the league with a completely different team and still fulfilled his three-peat. Even earlier into his career and twice against the Mavericks. Oh wow, Michael Jordan is not the finals MVP. It's Mikey. Why is his photo so HD? Mikey Williams finals MVP, 40 points a game. Yeah, you could have it. And um, he actually took over in the playoffs. I mean, he averaged more points, assists, rebounds. Okay. We're definitely seeing one of the best dynasties we've ever witnessed. And it's only season number five. Eric Gordon retired. Kobe is a 92. Jordan's a 96. And LeBron's a 99. LeBron also has Paul George now. Going into season number Number six. By the way, Kobe's 23 and Jordan's 26. You know, very different timelines here. So we didn't have D-Rose all these years, and he's came back right after we had a three-peat. Could have gave that man his ring, but no. We got Mike and LeBron as starters on the same team, and Kobe actually didn't make it this year. Yeah, the Bulls are struggling, 17 and 35. The Hornets traded a first for Taco Fall and uh, Kawhi for Malcolm Brogdon. Watch out, Pistons. Has Luka won every MVP? Yeah, just about. Rookie of the year, Sagana and Dor. Jordan's DPOI streak ends because Giannis exists.
exists. What the hell? Mikey Williams all NBA first team and Michael Jordan didn't make the first team. Mikey outplayed Michael. That's it's literally just simple as that. LeBron's still on the first team and uh, you know, Kobe didn't make any of the teams. Detroit's the first seed, Charlotte's the sixth seed, the Bulls didn't make it. Kobe averaged 30 points and six assists, so um he's not necessarily playing bad. I don't know why he's not like really in contention for all NBA teams. He's playing really good actually. The Hornets lose first round to the Hawks. The Pistons just win four to three. Kobe averaged almost 40 a game in his loss. Pistons win another series in seven games. It's getting a little bit closer. And they just won three straight series in seven games. What the hell? Yeah, um, Michael Jordan is taking a back seat to Mikey Williams. I'm not, I wish I was joking. In every stat. But we're playing the Mavericks again. Luke is shaking. And we won again. I accidentally simulated too fast, but it's cool because, you know, it's our fourth straight. Only to watch every celebration. Michael Jordan, finals MVP, 35 a game. Four straight. Michael Jordan went to baseball after his third straight and then retired after the other third straight. So, um, yeah, never did this before. This might be, uh, no, it, it really is the best duo of all time. Mikey Williams and Michael Jordan. We got Derek Rose a ring. He retired. Raul Neto retired. Wait, was his, I'm going all the way back down to look at that real quick. His description is well-rounded point. That just sounds like they're calling you trash. How did the Pistons have the fifth pick in the draft? Either way, they drafted a guy who's a 75. Bulls drafted Herman Best with the second pick. What the hell has been going on? LeBron could barely make the playoffs, if even make the playoffs. Kobe's just kind of been chilling. The Hornets have this guy who was making fun of for having a face scan in the last video starting at power forward. And then Mikey Williams is out playing Michael Jordan and winning four straight championships. The Bulls have Luke Cornett starting at center for God's sake. Oh boy. Season number seven. Jordan and LeBron are still all-star starters and Kobe did make it off the bench this year. Michael Jordan and Mikey Williams are second and third in the MVP voting. Or, you know, race because the voting isn't started yet. We beat down Luka three times in the finals so he can have all the MVPs he wants because we got two MVP caliber guys sharing touches on this team. No Pistons on the All-NBA first team, but I'm assuming we're going to have a couple on, you know, the other ones. Yeah, there we go. All-NBA second team, two of them. LeBron had his best season ever by far, which probably means that his team had their worst season ever. Pistons versus Hornets first round. This is actually the first time ever we're actually going to get a matchup between the two teams that we're controlling or two of the three. And the Bulls are 35 and 47. Kobe averaged 32 a game. Mike averaged 31 a game. They're up against each other in the first round of the playoffs. We know the whole disciple thing that, that you know, the whole narrative. First game, Jordan dropped 50 on his head. So, um, yeah, it's pretty safe to say that, well, uh, the Pistons are going to win this series 4-1. to one. Shout out to Kobe's solid series, but uh, yeah, you know, Pistons. Oh, wow, it's a game seven. The Detroit Pistons have lost in seven games to the Wizards in the Eastern Conference Finals. James Wiseman, Bradley Beal, Josh Christopher, and Alex Antetokounmpo beat down the Detroit Pistons three times, with well, four-time champions Detroit Pistons. Both of the Mikes played really well in game seven, but I guess, well, I mean, Evan Mobley shot two for ten, and Josh Christopher kind of cooked Jordan for Jordan standards, and the Wizards won a ring. Bismack Biyombo retired. Damian Lillard retired and got into the Hall of Fame, but didn't get his jersey retired with the Pistons. I mean, the um, Trailblazers. Sorry, I'm just used to saying the word Pistons at this point. And then Clay didn't make the Hall of Fame. Yeah, I don't know. Well, the Bulls have stolen the lottery and drafted not one but two draft and stash players, with the first pick being an 85 overall. So they gotta wait a year for this guy, though. That should make things more interesting if Bron's still even there by then. Bron has one more year left on his contract. He's a 99 overall. Kobe is a 96 with two years left on his. And it looks like Jordan re-signed to something because he has 147 over three years and he's a 98. Season number eight. Kobe's Shaq of sorts. The white Shaq is definitely getting his bag. And the Hornets six man is genuinely taco full. Jordan, Kobe, and LeBron are all all-star starters for the first time. Kobe is averaging 35 points a game. Very reminiscent of his, I believe his 05-06 season or 04-05. I don't know. And he's been averaging 30 a game at least for the past four seasons. The MVP race right now is between Michael Jordan and Mikey Williams, but somehow I expect Luka to get it. The most valuable player is Mikey Williams, making Michael Jordan the second best player on the team. Yep. And the team won 70 games. Mikey, Michael, and LeBron all NBA first team. Yeah, you see Mikey Williams averaged 32 and 10 and 6, and Michael Jordan averaged 32 and 9 and 5. Kobe Bryant all NBA third team sharing the backcourt with LeBron James Jr. He averaged 36, 5, and 4. Pistons are the one seed once again like always, and the Hornets are actually the third seed, which is pretty good. Both teams did make it out of the first round, and the Hornets lose in the second round while the Pistons advance. Kobe averaged almost 40 a game in the playoffs, but you know, eliminated. And the Pistons are in the finals again against the Warriors, who uh, might have another dynasty. I don't know. Tyrese, Maxi, DeAndre Hunter. Yeah, okay, we're not worried about this team. Come on, just get it over with. Quick 4-0 sweep. Mikey Williams is the finals MVP. We have five championships. It looks 
looks like Michael Jordan, well, he's definitely on pace to break his actual NBA championships he had in his career at a much younger age. But LeBron's going at a much slower rate. I believe by now he would have already been in Miami. And well, Kobe without a doubt, because he only has three all-star appearances, no crazy anything just yet. Robert Covington retired. LeBron James is gone. Our first move of the whole video, LeBron James, after eight years with the Bulls, dipped. And where the hell could a man that dominant be? The Utah Jazz. What? What else did you expect? I have no clue who the hell is on the Utah Jazz, but we're about to find out. Oh, well, he has a counterpart now named Jason Tatum. But here we are going to season number nine. They have 79 overall Javon Carter at point guard. The Pistons are just insane. Jonathan Isaac's probably been the greatest role player of all time. Dude is averaging four points a game. Yo, I would have been heated. Granted, you have five championships, but Michael Jordan and Mikey Williams have not looked at this man Isaac once. And Kobe's starting point guard is Chris Dunn. Finally, a change in the all-star team captains. Team Michael. And no, not Mikey. Michael. Oh, wow. Michael Jordan didn't draft Mikey Williams with his all-star team. That's, uh, that's disrespectful. He did draft LeBron with his pick, and somehow Kobe Bryant did not make it. Kobe's averaging 28 and 5, and the Pistons are 44 and 6. Mikey Williams is the back-to-back -back most valuable player, and Michael Jordan is the DPOI, and Franklin Knox is the most improved player, and Lothar Hoffman is the rookie of the year, and Lonzo Ball is the sixth man. Okay, it's probably stopped now. LeBron made the first team, Jordan made the second team, LeBron James Jr. made the second team, and Kobe is nowhere to be found on here. The Jazz are fifth in the playoffs, and the Pistons are first, opposite conferences, and the Jazz got dropped first round. Yeah, LeBron and Tatum basically tried to carry this team. Conference finals against Philly, and we're in the finals against the Mavericks again. They're they're just, they're traumatized. Well, it's two to two, and it's three to two. Are we taking another championship? Can Jordan get his sixth ring already? Okay, well, it's gonna have to come in the next game, because uh, we lost this one. We're going to a game seven in Detroit, and we won. Detroit Pistons, six-time NBA champions in only nine years of simulation. And we have never seen a dynasty crazier than this. Mikey Williams is the finals MVP again. Here's a look at Jordan's playoff stats. Him and Mikey basically just take every single shot. Actually, Mikey takes five more. But nonetheless, Julian Washburn retired. Hey, these guys used to be teammates back in the day. The Bulls are still in the lottery, very high up in it. Michael Jordan is regressing. He is a 98 overall at 30 years old. I did not think this would come so soon. And Kobe Bryant is no longer on the Charlotte Hornets. I would have been so crazy excited if he was on the Utah Jazz, but uh, no, you didn't think Kobe was going to the Jazz, did you? Kobe is on the Rockets. I don't know who's on the Rockets. I'm almost scared to see who is on the Rockets. Kobe is with Isaiah Stewart and Jabari Parker. Oh, God. And well, it's not just Jordan either. Jonathan Isaac's regressing. Clint Capella's regressing. After literally 87 years of being a journeyman, um, Luke Kennard is back in Detroit. Season number 10. Not Bob Ross. Rob Ross. Starting point guard of the Jazz. And oh, my God. Luke Cornett is a starting center for the Jazz. LeBron thought he was getting away by moving from Chicago to Utah. I actually Alec Burks back on the Jazz too? Jesus. Just gonna casually move Kobe over to his number 24 form just because I remember to do it. Oh wait, never mind. I guess number 24 is retired for the Rockets. Never knew that. Let like Kobe stay number 8. Michael Jordan, Mikey Williams, Kobe Bryant, and LeBron James are all all-star starters. Finally, some peace. No competition until we look at the award races. Oh, most valuable player leader is a uh, Milo's top car from the Knicks. Well, alright. You know, the Rockets doing pretty well. That's cool. The guy from the Knicks didn't win MVP. It was James Wiseman. Lonzo has been six man of the year for every year. Okay, well, three years is just about every year. Michael Jordan, Defensive Player of the Year again, is fourth time winning this. And Luke Walton, Coach of the Year, because why the hell not? LeBron's on the first team, Jordan's on the second team, and Kobe didn't make a team. It would have been so nice. You know, we would have perfect, you know, one, two, three. Well, Detroit's the second seed. That's a first. Utah's the seventh seed, and Houston is the first seed? Kobe Bryant led his team finally to the best seed in the conference. I can't believe it, but Kobe Bryant, yeah, his team has the best record out of all three teams. Kobe lost first round. You gotta be kidding me. And the Jazz lost first round. Of course, the Pistons at the end of the day prevailed and went 4-0. 31 a game, 7 assists. He shot 61%. Yeah, it couldn't have been him. LeBron played well, but uh, his team lost. Well, they lost in 7 games. Detroit has yet to lose a playoff game. We're in the conference finals. And, uh, okay, we're in the NBA finals again. Cole Anthony, Jaden McDaniels, DeJounte Murray, DiVincenzo. That's some pretty good defense. And we're up 3-0. 7. 7 championships from Michael Jordan as he's the finals MVP with 30. 37 points per game. We have a 4P and a 3P, and he's only 31. He has 19 Hall of Fame badges. Yes, I actually counted. I'm not exaggerating like usual. Kobe has a lot himself, and so does LeBron, but I'm saying this like they're not all 98 plus overalls. Alec Burks retired. Jason Tatum is regressing. Jordan is still regressing, but he's still a 98. And Kobe's actually progressing.
ring onto season number 11. I, I really can't believe he beat six rings already. Team Mikey. So much for having, you know, all of them on the same level. Kobe's back on the all-star bench. LeBron and Jordan are 11 time all-star starters. Well, not started, but you get, the you get the drill. Kobe's team is elite. Once again, hopefully they could actually, you know, do something in the playoffs this year. Mikey Williams, another MVP. Michael Jordan, another defensive player of the year. And Kenny Atkinson, another coach of the year. Michael Jordan and LeBron are both first team. Kobe didn't make any of the teams, but Kobe's team was the third seed. LeBron's team did not make the playoffs and Jordan's was the first. And we finally have both teams advance to the second round. The Detroit Pistons and the Houston Rockets were both eliminated. The Pistons got 4-0 swept. After another three-peat, they could not go for another four because uh, the Wizards are actually the team that stand in their way once again. I believe the only team to ever stand in our way. Wiseman, Josh Christopher, and Mo Bamba, and etc. etc. I don't know how to pronounce that word correctly. So Kobe actually did better in the playoffs than Jordan, or at least in terms of team success. Don't know how a team with two guys averaging 31 and one of them averaging 14 assists, one averaging 10 decides to just lose. Well, I guess Mikey shot 49% actually. That's pretty bad. For him, at least. And the Wizards got another ring. Dorian Finney-Smith retired. Mikey Williams re-signed on a four-year $213 million deal, and uh, we're gonna need him because Jordan went down another two overalls. LeBron and Kobe both have one more year left in their deals. Never mind, Kobe has a player option. Season number 12. Our longtime defensive GOAT, Jonathan Isaac, is so old that now he's off the bench. For the record, LeBron is a 99 overall, which is, you know, tied with Luka and Zion for number one. Kobe's got the little morale boost right now, which puts him at 99 as well. And Jordan's a 96, which is actually pretty deep down here. He's, like, worse than, like, Wiseman and Cole Anthony. So, yeah, just for, you know, some uh, context. God, this is gonna be one hell of a video to edit. Note to self when editing this is you're, like, halfway there. You got this. That was so unmotivational. Team Mikey and Team LeBron. That's kind of cool. Wow. LeBron James picked Michael Jordan over his son. That's, uh, that's kind of crazy. Kobe's the first all-star reserve. So, LeBron picked Michael Jordan and Kobe the first year I think that's ever happened. Mikey Williams. Four straight MVPs. MJ lost his DPOI streak to Giannis again. LeBron James Jr. took Michael Jordan's All-NBA first team spot, and he's now alongside his pops. Wow, Michael Jordan fell down to the All-NBA third team. Yeah, he definitely didn't earn All-NBA first team numbers, even though he shot 60% from the field, which is crazy. And uh, Kobe is also here on the All-NBA third team. Detroit's the third seed in the East. Houston's the second seed in the West. Weird to see Detroit that low. I guess Jonathan Isaac becoming bad had that much of an effect. I would know. Or, well, actually, Jordan. Both teams get to the second round in seven game series. And both teams are in the third round in seven game series again. And both teams are in the finals. Either way, we have just secured another championship. Now, I have a bad feeling that, which I mean, it shouldn't be a bad thing, but it's probably gonna be the Pistons again. But Kobe just led his team to the finals. Something that LeBron has yet to do in this whole video. And he's never once been stopped by Jordan. It's just that he's never been able to get to Jordan. Well, Pistons are up 2 0, and the Pistons are up 3 0. Yeah, um, Pistons just clean swept the Rockets. Mikey Williams put up 30 points and 20 assists in the last game and won finals MVP. FYI, I mean, Kobe obviously comes equipped with the 99 shot tendency, which is the highest it can be. So I don't know what's happening when stuff like this happens. Six for 11 in game four. I don't know. Aaron Holiday retired. Kobe's teammate is getting worse, but um, he's a 99. LeBron left Utah. No way. Oh my God. I thought LeBron had just went to go team up with his son, but his son left Miami too two years ago. LeBron has went to the Miami Heat after all these years. And who the hell is on the Miami Heat if he just, you know what I mean? If his son just left there, then why would he go there? Lonzo Ball and Derek Wells? Oh yeah, I could see why his son left. Well, Lonzo gets a team with his favorite player of all time again, although this time around he's older than him. And Michael Jordan is now a, um... Oh wow, I'm stupid. I took control off of the Pistons instead of the Jazz. I'm smart. Michael Jordan is a 94 overall at 33 years old. Rapidly regressing already. And Kobe just hit 30. Season number 13. Michael Jordan is on the all-star bench for the first time in a long time. He's alongside Kobe and Mikey Williams picked up LeBron, Jordan, and Kobe on his team. And LeBron's son at that. This has been one hell of a video. Mikey Williams has like 27 straight MVPs. Warren Erickson. Wow, LeBron really looks like LeBron on the Heat. Probably because he is LeBron on the Heat. All he needs is the headband to cap it off. DPOY LeBron James. Something that he has been looking for for a long, long time in the NBA in his actual stint. Why is he in a different angle? I've never seen a coach have a different angle. Well, LeBron's on the first team, Jordan's on the second team, and Kobe didn't make a team. Houston's the fourth seed, and Detroit's the second seed. I guess LeBron didn't make the playoffs again, even though he moved teams. Yep, he was five games out, and we got both teams in the conference finals again. No way. The Houston Rockets just came back from down 3-0, and we're in the finals again against, well, I mean, each other. Pistons take the first. Okay, it's 2-1, and it's 3-1. We already see what's happening here. The Detroit Pistons get, what is this, their ninth championship? Mikey Average 
average a cool 40 and 12. And I guess I never realized that Jordan re-signed on a five-year $280 million deal. Because why would he ever leave this God-sent team? Yep, nine championships. Are we going for the Bill Russell record of 11? Here's Kobe's playoff stats, by the way. He averaged only 25 and 6, which is still solid, obviously. Here's uh, Michael Jordan and Mikey Williams' playoff stats. Mikey Williams is just completely carrying the team at this point. And Mike's just kind of chilling. Oh, wow, our longtime center, Clint Capella, who has nine championships now and absolutely no other award history has retired. Five-time All-Star Yusuf Nurkic retired. Michael Jordan is a 91 overall. Going into year number 14, Kobe is a 99, and LeBron is also a 99. With an old Jalen Brown and an old Lonzo. And fake Kyrie, Anderson Irving. Mike's not even the second best player on the team anymore. It's, there's this Evan Mobley guy, you know? Man, Bron has... I mean, I know Kobe's had a little bit of a rough career, but Bron has been the most unsuccessful in terms of, like, team records. It's just been Jordan at the top. Kobe, like, you know, like, third quarter to the bottom. And then Bron just, like, at the bottom, basically. Compared to what Bron, you know, does in the actual NBA. Team Milos. Am I... Am my eyes deceiving me? Michael Jordan is no longer an all-star. Yep, Kobe Bryant, LeBron James, Mikey Williams, and LeBron James Jr. are all all-stars, but um, no Michael Jordan. I have scanned this screen at least 14 times just making sure. Because, oh, uh, wow. That is the end of a 13-year streak, career-long streak. And he's lost almost... Remember when he had, like, what, 16 Hall of Fame badges? He has three now. Just like that. Milo Stavkar, the MVP. Did I actually just try to pronounce something without, like, making fun of it? Yeah. I guess my voice makes me always seem like I'm making fun of it, but whatever. LeBron James, back-to-back -back DPOI. And Benjamin Walker, the coach of the year. LeBron's still on the first team. Michael Jordan and Kobe aren't on any teams. Actually, Michael Jordan's still on the all-defensive first team. Detroit's the fourth seed, Houston's the sixth seed, and LeBron missed the playoffs again. 34 wins. At some point, you gotta, you know what I mean, just start to carry, because it, you do have an 88, 87, 85, you got Lonzo, and Houston lost in the first round. There goes their finals appearance streak. Unless it wasn't a streak, and I'm just drawing a blank. Well, the Pistons could be going to the finals again, and there you go. Detroit is up 2-0. to The Detroit Pistons have another championship. Mikey Williams is 30, and he has 10 rings. Yes, 10. And which also means that Michael Jordan, old man now, has 10 rings himself as well. Mike still averaged a cool 24-8 and eight in the playoffs, but, um, you know, Mikey Williams is Mikey Williams' thing. Evan Mobley was actually shooting. Not a common occurrence here. Basically just donating rings to old guys like Jarrett Culver down here. Our guy, Jonathan Isaac, retired. Manuel Moody retired. Kobe Bryant is regressing. 98 overall. LeBron is still somehow not regret. Well, I guess in real life he isn't either. And Jordan's an 88. Season number 15. LeBron and Kobe are all-star starters and Michael Jordan's still not here, which he won't be here anytime soon once again. If you're wondering my strategy is to see how these guys, um, you know, how their records compare to their actual real life records. I'm gonna do it now for a guy like Jordan considering that, you know, we're in like jeopardy of him retiring sooner than later. I'm just gonna add this to his last name just for, you know, clarification on what who the hell he is you know what i mean because uh, i don't want to have him retired and then i'm getting confused with him and his actual him if you know what i mean just in case he pulls some early retirement on us and then i can't edit it i just realized that it, when it says all-star on your screen it like updates and it says 2035 in the middle of it i don't think 2k was that advanced to like photoshop different numbers that's what happens when you do like a 20-year career sim with three different players you start paying attention to things more clearly mikey we get it i know you're like on our team but like you know we we get it lebron is dpoi again that's cool frankie bishop who the hell hell lebron first team and lebron's son third team but no kobe or jordan detroit's a second seed houston's an eighth seed lebron still missed the playoffs and houston lost in the first round detroit lost in the conference finals against guess who the only team that's beat him the washington wizards that's three times that we've lost to this team with wiseman antetokounmpo christopher basically the same team it's been like for like the past 15 years and the wizards got their third ring every time they beat us they get the ring so we have four peated three peated and then three peated it again. Fawn Maker retired. Michael Jordan is an 83 overall, making 60 million. Kobe's a 97, and LeBron's still a 99 and has not regressed at all, even though he's, uh, what, the second oldest? Season number 16. Is this gonna be the last for Mike? I mean, he has two more years on his contract, so realistically, he'd get the last, like, you know, the bag. But you have the Jordan shoe brand, so I think he'll be alright. Team Kobe. Wow. I didn't expect this to come this late into his career, but Kobe Ryan has an all-star team. LeBron's a 16-time all-star, and, um, we even got another Kobe in here. Kobe White, LeBron's former teammate. Man, we really saw Monty Bates get completely overshine in this whole entire simulation. Wow, this Milos guy averaged 34 and 14. Esteban Fernandez. I think this is the first year in a very long time we don't have anybody on any of the awards. Like, including Mikey Williams, considering how much he's become attached to us. Kobe Bryant, first time, first team All-NBA in 2036. Along with LeBron, of course, who 
has made it 13 times. Kobe's a fourth seed. Jordan and company is a third seed. Unless they traded Jordan, which would be crazy. Nope, he's still here. He is still starting. Both teams advance to the second round. Both teams advance to the third round. And the Rockets got eliminated, but the Pistons are back in the finals. Come on. No. After an undefeated final streak, we're down 3-0 to the Spurs, who have Ed Aldridge and Zion. He's sluggish. <gasps> no, 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 no. How? We didn't just come back from 3-1, 3-2. No, we came back from 3-0 in the NBA Finals to win our 11th ring. Michael Jordan, in his rejuvenated career with the Detroit Pistons, has 11 championships. 11. And he's kind of just chilling in the playoffs, too, averaging a cool 19-6 on 52% while Mikey just carries. And Kobe played well, too, over there in Houston. But, um, yeah, here we are. And Jordan didn't really have to do anything in Game 7, either. Francis Gooden retired. I just realized when they're retired, I, I'm going to have to play that outro music, like, multiple times. Kobe's a 95. LeBron's still a 99, but finally regressing. And Jordan's a 78, which is the lowest he's ever been by far. Going into year number, I don't even want to know anymore. Year number 17. I've been simulating this for almost four and a half hours. Yes. Even on the computer. Team Kobe once again. LeBron's still a starter. Luka is now the sixth man of the year. That's how you know we're old. Julian Newman's dad is the coach of the year. LeBron James is still on the first team. Somehow Kobe got the third team, even though he was, on, he was an all-star captain. Detroit's the first seed. Both of our other teams aren't in the playoffs. Michael Jordan is back in the finals once again alongside Mikey Williams, and they can both break Bill Russell's 11 championships. I was so scared that Michael Jordan wasn't here for a second, but uh, no, he's just averaging three points a game because he's barely playing. He's literally, yeah, he's far off the bench. Actually, he's not even in the rotation. He's behind Tyler Harrow. Can they do it? And we're down 3-0, for God's sake. Is this going to be the first year we ever lose a championship? The Minnesota Timberwolves have won the finals. Cody Person. That's who we lose to. He's an 81 overall finals MVP. Yep. Jordan went from being Jordan to uh, barely playing in the playoffs. He averaged three points on 43% and like wasn't in the rotation at all. Oh, but you thought Michael Jordan was going to give up? Nope, of course not. To uh, my detriment, because I've been here for 18 years, which I don't think is an exaggeration. Michael Jordan has lasted longer than Zion Williamson. Michael Jordan is no longer on the Pistons. Michael Jordan is no longer on a NBA team. Kobe went down four overalls to a 92 at 35 years old, and LeBron went down an overall to a 98. But Michael Jordan is no longer on a franchise. Just their average year number 18. Kobe still is an all-star team, even though he's only a 92 or a 91 or something like that. Just look at the teams. The only people recognizable off the bench are Shaquille O'Neal, Isaiah Todd, Lamella Ball, and Denny. And then in the starters is just Mikey Williams, James Wiseman, LeBron, and Kobe. Michael Jordan has never signed with a team. I've been fortunate enough to make a living at the game I love. Now it's time to see what my post hoops life holds in store. Michael Jordan has announced his retirement. So we'll have to wait until the offseason for that though. The crazy part is I could even go over to Detroit and remove my control from them because we have no significance. After 11 championships, easily the most historic run out of any video I've ever made. Dana Irving. This guy is still here. How old would he be? LeBron's still on the first team. Kobe didn't make a team at all somehow. We do not have a team in the playoffs because we don't control Detroit anymore. And the Pistons couldn't make it to the finals anyways. Oh my god. This just took one hell of a turn. Hold on. Thankfully, I, I did all that stuff with Jordan for no reason because uh, I can edit these players still. And I'll just safely do it with Kobe now considering, you know, father time. But after 18 years in the NBA, LeBron James has retired at a 98 overall. And after another 17 years in the NBA, Michael Jordan has retired as a 74 overall. Taco Fall retired. Okay, great. Let's just progress. Okay, I'm kidding. I'm kidding. Michael Jordan averaged 27 points, 7 assists, 5 rebounds, 60% from the field, 30 from 3, 18 triple doubles, 313 double doubles, with 1,394 games played. Now, the only annoying part when you import players is that you don't get to see their true game highs because they just import from their last careers. So, Jordan's 69 points is obviously the career high he set in his, you know, actual career. And I believe a lot of these other ones are probably the same as well. But Michael Jordan had 11 NBA championships tying Bill Russell and obviously his good friend Mikey Williams. 13 All-Star appearances, 5 First Team All-NBA, 7 Second Team All-NBA, 1 Third Team All-NBA, 5 DPOYs, 14 First Team All-Defense, 2 Second Team All-Defense, 1 Rookie of the Year, 1 Team, 1 First Team All-Rookie, I'm running out of breath. Jesus. And LeBron James averaged 28 points, 7 assists, 5 rebounds, 53% from the field, 43 from 3, with 302 double-doubles and only 12 triple-doubles.
doubles in 1476 games played does not look like he beat his career high in points and it seems to be the same way for most of the other ones as well although actually uh, he did set a new career high of 12 threes this season lebron had 18 all-star appearances 15 first team all nba two second team all nba one third team all nba three time dpoi 11 time first team all defense five times second team all defense one first team all rookie and you know what i think i'm gonna hold off the whole records thing until kobe retires so cut the music for now and uh we gotta head back into it actually hit the music back on because david fizdale retired okay no, no no i'm kidding we have to see their hall of fame inductees lebron james and michael jordan for some reason the dash in his name went away but i'm sure have both been inducted into the hall of fame very obviously you know did anybody expect any different no lebron had his number retired with the chicago bulls number six and with the utah jazz number six only for four years in utah as well what the hell and michael jordan had his number 23 retired with the pistons for 18 years there and uh now we can officially cut back on some other music because uh that's it we have to go watch kobe now kobe bryant is 36 years old in the 87 overall going into year number 19 kobe is still an all-star starter even at an 87 overall and with 13 wins on the season donnie tiggs rookie of the year mikey is still god kobe didn't make any of these teams and didn't make the playoffs because we won 22 games mikey williams once again failed to make the finals and the mavericks finally won a ring after 87 straight years of drought bull bull retired but still no you know who kobe is an 82 overall going into year number 20 which will match his actual amount of years that he spent in the nba still describes the scoring machine because that's what he's known to do and the best player on the team is tian chung yi that's this cameron anthony guy he's been here for kobe's whole rockets career and you know just to follow the narrative he has one more year left on his contract kobe bryant is no longer an all-star we missed the playoffs again shout out to the nuggets kobe still averaged 23 points no way he still didn't retire Bronny retired and mikey williams retired and kobe has still not retired this man wants that ring kobe re-signed to another year deal and he's coming off the bench for this rockets team i believe he was a 78 overall in his last year with the lakers season number 21 not kobe bryant mac bryant all-star starter cliff i know for a fact i didn't just see joel Embiid coach of the year and the league joel Embiid is the coach of the celtics that's how you know it's time to go kobe still averaged 13 a game we missed the playoffs the nuggets won another ring he still has not retired what the hell this was already the longest video of all time and wow thank you kobe incredible bro wants to win a ring in the g league that's how kobe's drive is kobe is no longer on the team i would take a wild guess and say he didn't make a team kobe is in the free agency pool kobe bryant has officially announced his retirement from the nba at age 40 21 years pro and that's not even including this year which would have been 22 none of these people exist unintentionally we have done a thing where like you know we go 20 years in the future nobody exists anymore six is one a ring and that that is officially going to do it career three out of three has concluded at the end of the day he averaged 26 points per game five assists three rebounds 54 from the field 42 from downtown 1722 games played 101 double doubles and one triple double his game highs i mean like the 81 obviously you know where the 81 came from and most of these seem to be the one that you know he said in his other pretty incredible career 13 time all-star one time first team all nba three time third team all nba one time most improved and one time second team all rookie that's the extent of his award history still very solid he still had hall of fame volume shooter even when all said and done in a 75 overall now that's kobe so for the moment of truth we don't need to look at any of these team records i know for sure they definitely said a lot of these we need to look at these nba records i actually put the hyphen into lebron's name too late so it didn't register for any of these uh, record books but i just pulled up lebron's total stats on my phone you know in basketball reference and well uh this is our lebron right here kobe bryant 44,000 points which is the most out of all three of our guys with lebron coming in second at 41,000 and jordan coming in third at 37,000 which does of course beat out their regular careers lebron had himself 34,000 kobe at 33,000 and regular jordan at 32,000 kobe finishes third in field goals made jordan is fifth and lebron is eighth basically our lebron is going to be higher on every list than the other lebron lebron actually ends up 10th in three pointers made while kobe is 28th and mike is not gonna be here mike was not shooting kobe is fifth in free throws which beats out which beats out real kobe by 200 mike is 10th lebron 11th lebron james jr actually had more assists than all three of our guys because our lebron
LeBron is 20th, Michael Jordan is 24th, and Kobe is 32nd. Michael Jordan finishes second in steals. Still, John Stockton reigns supreme and uh, Jordan's second. LeBron's fifth. I don't know where Kobe is. I'm assuming he's got to be somewhere around here. There he is, 16. Kobe Bryant finishes number one in minutes all time, beating out Kareem Abdul-Jabbar. LeBron is fifth in points per game. Jordan's seventh in points per game. And I believe Kobe, because, you know, he just retired, so he's not here yet, but he'd be somewhere around here, which is similar to what he was in real life. Jordan had the 11th highest field goal percentage ever as a shooting guard. Mikey Williams has the most 40-point games ever. Oh, for some reason, Michael Jordan doesn't have his hyphen here, but he's sixth. LeBron was seventh, and Kobe was eighth. Back to back to back. And his son is right here, you know, LeBron Jr. Kobe had the sixth highest single season scoring season. That made no sense. In NBA history, Kobe also broke his own record and had more points per game with, you know, 36.2 in 2028. Kobe had 30 40 point games in one season in 2028 and 10 50 point games in the same season. No way. Kobe Bryant broke the real Michael Jordan's record with 66 points in a playoff game. In that same 2028 legendary season, it's looking like based off these records. After 20 something years passed, still nobody could beat the 63 set by Jordan but Kobe. And well, uh, I think that's gonna do it. After all this time, it seems as if even though Kobe Bryant didn't get the NBA championships, he had some moderate NBA success but no championships and that was really it. He was the best in every single si single game category and also the total points over like a career and all those numbers. And well, uh, we're gonna officially going to retire him of course kobe bryant's in the hall of fame and he gets his number eight retired with both the charlotte hornets and the houston rockets and uh that's it so at the end of the day michael jordan won 11 championships and almost broke the bill russell record good enough even just tying it kobe bryant may not have had a lot of you know individual accolades or on the court success but he still ended up with a lot of records at the end of the day and lebron well uh he was easily the biggest disappointment he didn't have nearly as much success as either jordan or kobe i don't know if he even ever made it past his first or second round and he even retired as a 98 overall showing that he wasn't even dealing with it anymore he couldn't take it so that is gonna do it thank you for watching if you're still here at this point then you're 100 subscribed you're not even no way you just waste all this time and you're just not subscribed you can like and subscribe to the channel if you care about my channel at all let me know who what where when why that makes no sense but whatever the hell you want to see next suggest some legends because in all honesty this was really fun even though it took a really long time go follow the social medias the links will be in the description and the comment that i'm gonna pin and uh, i'm out of here Cut.